Yo, this is Kyle Calloway with the video. Um, here to talk about why I think Triple H had a amazing career in my eyes. Triple H had an amazing career because he was a 14-time champion. Now, I'm going to really be going down my dissecting of the wrestlers from the Attitude Era. Before I, I really dive into some other stuff and really talk about other stuff, it's not bad, it's not gossip, but before I talk about some other stuff on these wrestlers, I want you to, to know, respect the legends and the legends. Yes, but Triple H had an amazing wrestling career. One of the best, you know, 12-time um, WWE champion, two-time Royal Rumble winner. You know, Triple H's best prime was like from 1999 to 2004. How I know, because I was a kid in that area. I'm, I'm, I'm in that era. I'm 28 now, going on 29 at the end of this year in October. But yes, Triple H was an amazing wrestler. I mean... He gave us some of the best matches possible. Triple H brought a whole nother style to the ring. A whole nother aggressive style. He was different. He wasn't for all the tricks and stuff. But his weight of being a power, a heavyweight, a super heavyweight in the wrestling brought a whole different spectrum. You know, um, Triple H, his opponents, him, him going against The Rock. You know what I'm saying? Now, I'm going to really talk about that rivalry. I'm going to really break down, but I'm going to have to do some research to refresh myself. Because it's been a long time. And I am a kid, so certain things are fuzzy. But Triple H just had an amazing career. Talking about faction based, you know, Degeneration X and then Evolution that was his best creation ever of a group. That was twenty years ago up to to the to this year, two thousand and three, when he just put on the the wrestlers you see today where he put on Randy Orton and he put on Batista and he propelled them to the best that they could be, man. Triple H had an outstanding career despite what's going on now. You can't take away what Triple H has done. Now, the bar he said is, he said it that competition is necessary and passion is a must in wrestling. Triple H gave you what a wrestler is supposed to be within his style. In his technique of wrestling, he really showed what a competitor is supposed to be like and a great act is supposed to be like. You're supposed to paint a story of competition, redemption, and ascension. And Triple H did that. I was a fan of Triple H because... It's just something that was special in that moment. Who Triple H was as a wrestler and as a massive competitor. You know, um, I will be breaking down what, how Triple H created evolution. And what did he take from those? So, Triple H really gave his all from the sport of wrestling. He really laid it on the line for the sports of wrestling. Triple H was in a, a whole different... Uh, he was in a league of his own. So let me explain more and more how Triple H was in a league of his own. Because you had to try to compete... You had to try to compete on Triple H's 
wrestler's terms. Triple H never really competed on wrestler's terms. He always played what I like to call mental chess. Mental chess. Which he made three or four moves. And the other wrestlers had to follow suit. His opponents, where he did groups. The bad thing is, I don't, that was crazy how he kicked Randy Orton out of evolution. But still, and still, Triple H made his wrestlers, he baited his wrestlers into his sway in the match. And he gave some of the best matches because he was always a thinking man. Not just muscles, but he was muscles and mental too. So Triple H, that's why he coined himself the name or was coined the name the Cerebral Assassin. Triple H brought out the best and then rest in peace China. He put China, you know what I'm saying, in the, in the game. But Triple H gave it all to the sport of wrestling. Triple H really honed his legacy and really made it something special. Triple H always thought three moves ahead or four more moves ahead. Triple H always thought on his feet. Triple H really made you do all the work. And then he came in and creeped in. And then, and then put his smash to the match. One of my favorite matches was when he... Uh, when he wrestled Mick Foley, he he won, but man, he took a licking. That was an amazing match. I also love him, the rivalries with him and The Rock. I wish that should have been a WrestleMania moment. Because man, if you would have saw that, if you only would have been able to live that, man, everything would have been amazing. Triple H, when I say... The man thought three, four moves ahead. Man, it was just amazing what what plan he would concoct and scheme to get his way in the matches. The bad, the crazy part is when he used to pull out the sledgehammer. Man, his signature weapon was the sledgehammer, smacking people across the head. It was crazy, but Triple H was an amazing talent in his day. So I talk to you later.